Hello, thank you so much for coming back to watch today's video. So today for you I have um, my May's favorites and flops. So these are products that I really, really loved and discovered or have been using a lot during the month of May and maybe some products that really disappointed me. So if you'd like to see some of these and hear a little mini review, swatches, stuff like that, then please keep on watching. Just so you know, I do upload a daily video here on this channel all about budget beauty so it can be um, favorites and flops like today, it can be skincare, makeup, fragrance, it really does depend on the day of the week, so make sure you do subscribe, hit that notification bell even, so that way you're notified when I upload, which is daily. Um, I also do live streams every single day of the week, so Monday through Saturday it is at 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and on Sundays it is at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out, come chat with me, I really do love getting to know my viewers and subscribers, so yeah, come hang out. And I also have a Facebook group. Um, so yeah, come join that as well so we can chat and just, yeah, we chat about pretty much anything. So yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Once again, it's just another way to kind of, you know, get to know each other on a more intimate level, I guess, you know? Okay, so May is over. Tomorrow's June 1st and I can't believe that. Um, it's summertime. My birthday is in June. I'm going to be 35 which I'm totally fine with. I think I look pretty good for almost 35. But anyway, i got a whole bunch of products to share with you. I'm going to hurry up and stop babbling so that way we can just get on to it. So, okay. Anyway, let's just do this. So, um, very first thing, I do have a couple of eyeshadow palettes. Um, this one blew my mind. Love it so much. This is the Profusion Starlet palette. Just absolutely stunning array of shades. There's a pressed glitter in every row. Is that right? Which way goes? I don't know. But anyway, they're like the color families are going up and down. Um, I love that. It just is really easy to make an eye look. And it's just so, so pretty. Just really, really gorgeous. Um, cruelty free. Um, the shimmers are out of this world. So are the mattes. I mean, just very pigmented and easy to use. Um, and once again, just super affordable, so really, really nice. This is probably my favorite Profusion palette that I've ever used. And I have quite a few Profusion palettes, but this one just blew my mind. It's gorgeous. I love it a lot. I love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Next are the um, Beauty Treats Modern Matte Eyeshadow Palettes. These are cruelty-free as, cruelty as well. And these are like, for both of these... Both of these together, it was like $9 on Amazon. Um, both palettes are completely matte. So there's a more neutral um, one, you know, more like just browns and stuff like that. Sabrina did a video. This is supposed to be a dupe for like a Viseart palette. Um, but once again, just extremely pigmented, like crazy pigmented. Really, really beautiful, beautiful shades. Um, I was really surprised by this just because I am not a huge fan of just matte shadows on myself. I do like shimmer, but um, the, this palette, these palettes totally rocked. Like, I mean, here's the colorful one. Just once again, really, really beautiful palettes. Um, and just once again, easy to use. It's really, really nice. Um, I was very surprised by them. They're great. Okay, um, next. So, um, these are from Dollar Tree, but I don't exclude anything just because of the price, but these are the LA Color Plump Gloss. These are amazing. I love these. I'm gonna actually put one on. These glosses, I picked up three of them. So these um, do tingle like a regular plumping gloss, but they all have a little bit of shimmer in them. They are, oh, they're like very pigmented for a gloss. They smell like cupcakes, but they just make the lips look soft and supple. There's that little bit of shimmer. And then they do actually plump. For me, it took a few, like a minute or two, to really feel the plumping, but really, really nice, nice glosses. So if you are in the market for a good plumping gloss, but you don't want to spend a lot of money, I feel like all of us are a little bit more poor right now, then I would definitely recommend the LA Color Plump Gloss. They're great. LA Colors is cruelty free, but just really, really nice, very pigmented glosses. They're great. 
I love them, which I'm not usually the biggest gloss fan, but now that we're into summer, um, they're definitely a lot more comfortable than like a matte liquid lipstick. So yes, these are great. And I think a lot of people would really, really love these. Okay, I'm trying to hurry. So next is the um, Estate Do Me Highlighter in Bi. Um, I actually, this is my second um, Estate Highlighter. Um, I have it in Lit right here. I got both of these in a Ipsy bag, but these are just so beautiful. These are baked highlighters, but just wait. So this is in the shade Bi. This one's pretty peachy. Oh my gosh, it is just crazy pigmented and very creamy. I was pretty shocked when I first tried these just because usually baked highlighters are pretty dry and they're hard to build up or get any kind of color payoff for shimmer or highlight effect, I guess. But these are amazing. So if you do get the chance to choose an estate highlighter in your Ipsy bag, do it. They're great. Um, really, really gorgeous. Definitely recommend. They're just so pretty. Okay, um, next is another highlighter palette. This is the Kat Von D um, Alchemist Holographic Palette. Um, this has been on sale for $10 on Sephora's website for a while now. They're trying to get rid of all the old inventory because they're doing the rebrand. But this is a four pan holographic palette. You can pretty much use it anywhere. But they are just, sorry, I gotta use my other hand because my other one is kind of stained from the eyeshadows. But yeah, very pigmented, very unique shades like mint green, blue, violet, you know, but really, really pretty highlights. I was very um, pleasantly surprised with this highlighter palette. Um, easy to use. You can definitely layer them for a multi-dimensional effect. Really, really nice palette, and like I said, it's on sale for 10 bucks, so definitely the time to pick it up if you have been looking at it. I've been looking at it for years, and I'm definitely glad I picked it up. Okay, so, really quick. So, this is the Love, Beauty, and Planet Shampoo Bar for Color Treated Hair. Oh my gosh, this stuff smells amazing. This is my first time trying a shampoo bar, and I do have to say I do really like this. It doesn't suds up super awesome, um, so I don't feel like it's like really getting my hair clean sometimes, but really... I will actually just like rub this on my head. It works fine. Um, I do like this a lot. It adds, seems to add texture to my hair. Really, really good. They do have one for um, a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner for fine hair. I was looking at that one too, but someone actually commented that they have that one and they really like it. But yes, the Love Beauty um, and Planet shampoo bar. I really like it and it's been really easy to use, especially where I have to shower for like six weeks. I can't take a bath. So this is just really easy for me to use and then put on a conditioner. It works great. So I love it a lot. Okay. Next is the Equate Beauty Nighttime Firming Cream. I have been using this stuff like a mad person. I love this stuff. This is the only nighttime moisturizer I've been using since I got it. Um, as you can see, I've really been getting in there. It's just a really, really good moisturizer. It hasn't broken me out. I mean, I'm breaking out, but it's not because of this. I don't know what caused it, but I know it's not this. But yes, it does have a scent, but it is very moisturizing. It leaves my skin feeling very hydrated and plump and just very nourished. I really love this stuff. I have two other um, containers of this because one of them is going in my giveaway. So yes, really, really nice. Um, so if you're looking for a very affordable nighttime cream, definitely recommend the Equate Firming Cream. It's supposed to be um, a dupe or like the same as um, Olay, but really, really love this stuff and I've been using it like crazy. Oakley doakley. So next, I have the Kala um, Medi Bio Capsule Mask. I don't have the green one that I used. I think that one was Firming. Yeah, the green one I used was firming. I only have the um, advanced hydration one now, but I got this these at Dollar Tree and they are amazing. They retail for like four to six dollars on their website. This is a Korean beauty brand. It's made in Korea, but really a cool mask. You don't have to leave the mask on for 40 minutes, but I really enjoyed it um, so much that I actually um, went and picked up a, another one, but really, really good. I like these a lot. So yeah, go to your local Dollar Tree if you can and definitely check them out. So, there we go. 
Okay, next I have my products that I really didn't like or ended up there being not something great about it. So very first thing, this is the Asiate London Fierce Flakes Eyeliner. I got this in my May Ipsy bag and looks beautiful. It's really pigmented. It is matte, but sorry, I got cat hair all over my face. I've been cuddling with Cassiel. Problem is, is this thing bleeds like no other, like crazy bad. Um, even when I was trying on my Ipsy stuff, it just kept transferring to my lower inner corner. Um, even Sean said something because like, I wouldn't even touch my eye. I would like rub somewhere else on my face and I would take my hands down and they were covered in black liner. Looks really beautiful. Just, I have oily lids. I do have combo skin. I don't think this plays nicely with oily eyelids. It's too bad because it is a really, really nice liner. Just not for someone like me. Um, so unfortunately, that's a no-go. I'll see if I can pass it on to someone like a friend or a family member. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it was a no-go and super disappointing. Definitely a flop. Okay, next. This one's hard. Okay, so this is the AOA um, Velour Sponge. Okay, I washed it one time and it's totally cracking. It was way worse when it was wet, but it's totally cracking and like coming apart. I'm not rough when I wash my sponges or makeup brushes. For example, this is a Real Techniques Velour Powder Sponge. Stained, but once again, no cracks, no breaks, nothing like that. But this one from AOA, it just totally is starting to fall apart. I've used it one time and I really liked it. Um, I've heard great things about their sponges, but this one, I don't know, it just totally, totally coming apart. So unfortunately, I really liked it, but when I washed it, it just, it's a flop for me. Um, even though it's extremely affordable, you're gonna have to replace this really, really quickly. So I would definitely recommend picking up something like a Real Techniques, the little velour sponge, just as good. A little bit more expensive, but it is way more durable. So yeah, unfortunately, the AOA velour sponge was definitely a flop. And finally, this one bums me out, but here I have the Alme Healthy Glow Makeup and Gradual Self Tan. I was so excited for this foundation. Um, they still sell it. You can get it for pretty affordably priced on Amazon. I was doing a seven day wear test with this because it's supposed to take seven days to get your, to your deep color. Um, anyway, it looked beautiful on the skin. Absolutely beautiful. Um, I followed the directions. You're supposed to like hit the bat bottom hard, like on a hard surface. Um, I think it's to get air bubbles up or anything, but the the first three days I used this, I guess there was no self-tanner coming out. Then all of a sudden the self-tanner started to come out. And then I ended up getting a severe reaction. I ended up getting all these red bumps all over my face. It was really bad and down my neck because I was planning it down my neck. And yeah, my, I guess maybe my face skin just can't handle um, self-tanner. And it's not expired. It doesn't expire until like 2021. So it's not... Um, no, expires January 2022 actually, so it's not expired um, or anything like that. It's beautiful on the skin, very dewy and smoothing, doesn't sink into fine lines or anything. It just looks gorgeous on the skin, but I got a reaction from it, so unfortunately it is a flop. Anyway, I will link everything down below for you if you're interested in picking up any of these things. It'll be an Amazon affiliate link, that means I would get a very small percentage. Um, you're welcome to use it, but you definitely don't need to. I just like being upfront about stuff, you know? But anyway, those were my main favorites and flops. Quite a few things. Really excited about everything for the most part. Anyway, there we go. But anyway, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and share it. Leave a comment down below. What are some of your favorites and maybe not so favorite things that you used or rediscovered in the month of May? Doesn't just have to be beauty, kitchen gadgets, whatever, cleaning supplies, I love to know down below. So let me know. Um, just so you know, I do have another channel. It's called Gourmet on a Budget. It's all about budget food. So recipes and taste tests and little shopping hauls. I upload on that one seven days a week as well. So go subscribe if you'd like to. It'll be linked down below for you. And don't forget, you're always welcome to follow me on my other social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's all, it's all at Budget Glam, babe. There we go, words. Um, and don't go anywhere quite yet. Another video should start autoplaying here very shortly. You can always click on one of the ones that'll be popping up around the screen. But yeah, I'll see you here in just a sec.